Jumbo fellow adventurers, happy Monday. Welcome to another spiritual tune-up. This time the question is, or the answer, four steps to rock the continued lockdown. We're moving into 2.0, if you will, of coronavirus, the pandemic that has everybody social distancing. And I continue to receive so many questions about you know, how can you pursue your dreams when you can't interact with the world and, and similar ideas. So I thought now that we're probably four plus months into this, it would be a good idea to revisit some basic ideas that will give you comfort, peace of mind, and perhaps some breathing room to make the most of this treasured time. Okay, the first thing I want to share with you. As always, get grounded in truth. Step one of four, get grounded in truth. And immediately, truth will reveal to you that this is not random. This is not just happening and you're a bystander and now you have to react. That kind of attitude completely jades you, completely takes your power away from you. It totally tells you that life is happening to you and you need to react and now what are you going to do and your parents didn't have to deal with this when they were your age and your kids probably won't have to deal with it when they're your age and why do you have to deal with it and this is totally not fair and you're on a tangent without return. Everything has order. Everything has meaning. This is an invitation for the world to go within and reconsider your priorities. To see what you've been missing because you've been missing something. I've been missing something. We've all been missing something. Living as if we were in primitive times. Chasing the almighty dollar on that little little wheel that the mice run in circles on without realizing the time of day, not stopping to smell the flowers, not realizing that every second of our lives is a precious fleeting gift. And if there's order, that means you are part of the solution. If there's order, that means this is happening for you. If there's order, that means this is a fertile time to begin living like you have never lived before. This is the way to look at what's going on right now. It is absolute truth that there is a gift in this lockdown and we're already seeing it play itself out in a new world order, new priorities, new way of functioning beyond social distancing. So get that you're a co-creator of this incredible invitation to take your life to another orbit. Step two of four, introspection. Once you realize this is an invitation to go within, step two is to go within. It's not difficult. It's really easy, especially with the social distancing. Okay, boy, didn't that work out nice? What a coincidence that is that now we have this weird, virtually unimaginable uh, situation on planet Earth that six months ago was impossible to conceive of for the most part, unlike earthquakes, tidal waves, massive destruction, we're all being given time. Time. And we're not allowed to go cloud our minds with other stuff. So step two of four is introspection, self-reflection. I've got some ideas for you here. Ask some new questions. Ask some big questions. Who am I? Why am I here? What can I do with my life when this passes? And how am I going to do it? Ask yourselves for some new priorities. What was priority number one, two, and three? And what will priority number one, two, and three be beyond this pandemic? Okay, Because it's going to end. We're going to go back out into the sunshine. We're going to be giving each other hugs. So what's your life going to look like then? You do not want it to go back to the way it was. Okay, There's things you miss about the way it was, but to go back to that exact same life, so much was being overlooked. Don't do that. Self-reflect. Go within. Ask new questions. Find out what your new priorities are. And then step three. Step three of four. Start planning. Start doing stuff. Get the research out of the way. You know your big questions are answered. You've got new priorities. This is the direction you're going to go in. What are your first steps going to be? Chances are extreme. You can take some of those first steps right now. I'm always a little bit surprised when people say, you know, 
with this social distancing, how can I move towards my dreams? There's so many things you can do. Even if it's falling in love with somebody brand new, there's the internet. Now with the internet, you can start a new business. Now with the internet, you can meet new friends. Now with the internet, you can have social meetups. Go to meetup.com and prepare, research. Did you want to write the book? Did you want to write the screenplay? Did you want to launch a business? Did you want to fall in love? All of those things have lots of elements that can be done now prior to social distancing being lifted. So get your house in order. And with that tangent, while you might want new love, while you might want to become an entrepreneur or a million other things, learn a new language, what else can you perfect in your life to create balance now so that it's not lopsided when you emerge from the gates, when you emerge towards new relationship or to being single or to being healthier or to having an entrepreneur, you don't want to just be the new entrepreneur. You want balance. So what other areas of your life call for introspection, call for new priorities, call for a new game plan that you can formulate baby steps for right now? Okay. What kind of person are you going to be when the lockdown and social distancing is lifted. And how can you prepare for that now? And there is no doubt in my mind, there is lots to do for all of us. Number four of four to prepare for social connection um, post pandemic. Number four is enjoy the moment. Uh, I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure I'm not the only one that has found a silver lining to this social distancing orders, that has found, found myself enjoying home life, nature, gardening, daughter, wife, more and in different ways, more fulfilling ways than prior to the lockdown. Mark these words. When the lockdown and social distancing passes, and you're a year or two or five or 10 into the future, you will look back with fondness at this sacred special time that your parents didn't get and that your kids probably aren't going to get when they're your age. And there's things you're going to miss. There's this lightness of being right now. Feel it. Get in the present moment. Be here. Read more. Watch more comedies. Uh, catch up on classic films that you've always heard about. Um, begin a journaling practice. Creative visualization. Do a vision board. You have time now and bandwidth here that you will likely not have to the same degree post social distancing. So enjoy this special time. Maybe now's the time to write that book. Hey, Okay, so there you have it. Get grounded in truth. Realize it's not an accident. It's not happening to you. Number two, go within big questions, new priorities. Number three, start preparing for your new life with your new priorities. Physically preparing, even if only on the internet or losing weight or getting healthy or exercising. Come on, the list is endless. Then number four, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you so much. Have an awesome week. The best of your life so far. Thanks for joining me here on Facebook and Instagram where I do these live. Thanks, Lori, for being here. Rocking the truth. Wayne, thank you so much. David, brother, Kathy, Patricia, Marie, and then on Instagram, Melissa, make money. Oh, yeah. Vilka, Joan, Georgia, love you all. See you tomorrow morning. Write your questions below on Facebook or Instagram and be sure to check the 100 earlier tune-ups that have been done since March that may already have your question answered. Tally ho amigos!